Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're going to be looking today at an update of the HD Home Run DVR that we talked about uh, back in April. A lot of people have been looking for an update as to where they are at on this project and I have uh, the latest Windows 10 client. Now if you're not familiar with an HD Home Run, uh, it is a TV reception box that you plug into your computer network and it can take either over the air digital content or content from your cable system and allow your computers or Android boxes and a few other devices uh, to tune live television uh, and it also works with DVR software uh, like Windows Media Center which unfortunately is going away which is why uh, Silicon Dust has decided to embark on this project to come up with a new simple to use DVR that works with their hardware. It also works with Myth TV and a bunch of other stuff too. It's actually a pretty open platform. Now, before we get into this, I do want to disclose that I have worked as a consultant for Silicon Dust who makes the HD Home Run project. I was their uh, star of their pitch video that we did back in April, but I was a client of this company long before they became a client of mine. I've been using uh, Silicon Dust products for probably the last five or six years or so. And uh, one of my first very popular videos came out of a organic video that I did talking about how I was using their products in my home and that's how they found me but I'm a big fan of what they are doing and that is why I got behind their product so let's take a look now uh, and see where everything is at with their project we're going to be looking today at the Windows 10 client other clients are still in development so let's take a look so we're going to run this today on a Kangaroo Mini PC. This is the least expensive Windows PC I have in the uh, fleet right now. This is a $99 Windows 10 computer uh, running with an Atom Cherry Trail chip. And uh, we're going to run the HD Home Run uh, Windows 10 client. This is a Windows 10 specific application that uh, is available through the HD Home Run DVR forums. They'll have a link on there uh, that you can go to bring you to the Windows 10 store to download this. It's going to come out for other platforms soon as well, but I think they want to get this version polished first uh, before those others are available. Incidentally, uh, because this is coming in through the Windows 10 store, when they open up the Xbox One for Windows 10 apps, uh, this will be an app that will run uh, on the Xbox One also. you get the same app. So what I'm doing right now is running it full screen for my cable access channel. This is because I won't get dinged for copyright uh, for doing this. So uh, that is why we have a uh, SD, uh, really low quality image right now. But this is just so I can show you the full screen here. You'll notice a couple of things. I just pulled up the channel guide. This is very similar to what we had uh, with the HD Home Run View application that's already out and it's on many platforms. Uh, but you'll notice down at the bottom here we have a few different buttons we didn't have before. So we have a record button here so we can set up recordings if we wanted to record this or uh, other things that were on this channel. And we also have a button here that takes us to uh, our recordings as well as uh, some additional options for setting up other recordings. But I wanted to show you first though before we went too much further, uh, is there a new uh, thing called slicing which is what you can do to see what's coming up on a particular channel. So you don't have a traditional channel guide on here. Uh, but you can just kind of scroll to the right here and see uh, what's coming up. And for example, if I wanted to uh, record front and center, I could just click on this and that will take me over to uh, the DVR recording area. I could click on record here and that will set up uh, my system to record front and center every time that it comes on. And then I can go back up here and go back to live and it'll take me back to where we were uh, with the live broadcast. Now I have the recording engine for the DVR uh, currently running on a WD MyCloud network attached storage device. So I'm able to actually run it on a low powered device uh, to capture those recordings and then this uh, little kangaroo PC is accessing them over my network. In fact, we're doing it over wireless AC right now. It's actually working better than I expected it to. So I do recommend Ethernet whenever possible, but uh, I am the only one using my AC wireless in the house at the moment, which is why this is uh, probably working a little bit better. Now I want to show you the recording interface. So if we go down to the uh, icon down here at the bottom, we can click on that and be brought into our DVR interface. And uh, what we've got up right now is the recording screen. I can go back to live by clicking live in the left hand corner there. I'm going to show you discover and tasks in a minute. Uh, so what I'm going to do though is play back something I recorded prior. So we've got Sesame Street here. These files reside on my network attached storage device. I'm going to click on there and that will pull up the video that it recorded earlier. And uh, they've got some nice seeking features on here. So if I click to the right, uh, that'll jump me ahead 30 seconds, but I can skip back like six, six seconds or so uh, by tapping on the left key. So if you're skipping commercials and go too far, you can just click left here and go back in smaller increments. So that was a nice thought there. You can also skip ahead 10 minutes by pushing up or skip back 10 minutes by pushing down here. As you can see, the seeking is uh, very, very quick on it right now. So that is nice to see. I uh, will pull back that uh, icon again and go back to our 
uh, menu here so you can see a few other things on here. So we've got uh, Discover, which is how you can find things to record. Again, this does not have a traditional channel grid because that is a patented thing. Uh, so you can search around uh, by icon here just by scrolling through some things. I think they have some curation they're going to be doing on the more popular shows. Uh, you could also search for stuff as well. So if I type in Jimmy here, I'll get Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. I can then uh, you know, go into Jimmy Kimmel's show here, uh, click on record series and be able to start recording everything. It does put a preference on the HD version. So you're not gonna get both the, the SD and the HD. It's only gonna get you the uh, HD version, even though uh, on this list here, we have both my, uh, my uh, HD and standard definition versions, but uh, so far it's only been recording the HD versions, which is good. And if you go over to tasks, you can see everything that is currently slated to be recorded on the device. If you wanna take something off, for example, if I don't want Chicago Fire recorded anymore, I can just click on delete here and that will remove it from uh, the recording engine. Although it'll bring me back to this screen here in case I change my mind, I could start recording it again if I wanted to. Uh, then we, of course, we can go back to discover and start looking around. They do have some uh, organization now, so you can look at uh, individual shows, for example. You can also see what movies are coming up as well. And of course, the search works throughout all of those things. The one thing you want to keep in mind on a mini PC like this, if I go back to the live uh, broadcast here for a second, is that at the moment they haven't yet optimized everything. So there is an option uh, that you may want to click on, if, especially if you're on an atom based device, uh, to turn the high quality video processing to off. Uh, at least for the time being, because that will give you the better playback performance. Uh, faster machines obviously will do better. Uh, this is a Cherry Trail quad core Atom chip, and it works better with that uh, setting right now set to off. Uh, but I would imagine over time things will get optimized and improve. And of course, when we get over to Android and whatnot, it should work uh, pretty well on there too. The recording engine actually is really interesting. So you could install the recording engine uh, on the uh, Kangaroo PC if you wanted to have it do both playback and recording. I really prefer the NAS option because NAS devices are getting less and less expensive. They don't consume a lot of power and they can kind of run in the background. So I've got mine on the WD MyCloud. What's neat, and I think they'll probably change this once the final version is ready, but right now when you uh, pull up the interface, you do it through your Windows setup program for the HD Home Run, it will find your NAS devices on the network and install the recording engine automatically using an SSH script. It really works uh, quite well. So you don't have to do any command line stuff. It takes care of all of that for you. Uh, just know that if your DVR updates and resets itself or you lose power or you just turn it off, you'll have to go back in and run that script again to keep it running because it will not stay resonant in the background. Again, that's uh, th something that's just prevalent in the beta version. Uh, when we get to the full release, I'm sure they'll have a version available in uh, the app store for the major brand net network attached storage devices. At the moment, it looks like WD MyClouds will be supported as well as QNAP and Synology drives, the current versions of those. Uh, but I think most of the ones that most of us have at this point are uh, falling into the current category. And I do believe too, it'll be installable on single drive MyCloud units also too, at least uh, through that scripting mechanism. So I do think you wanna go with the little higher powered device like the dual drive systems, but it will work with other ones there too. And one thing I really like is how nicely everything stays organized from the recording engine. So uh, what it'll do here, this is the root directory of the uh, store on my network attached storage device that is grabbing those recordings. It puts every show in its own folder and it really neatly titles everything. So you get the, uh, the proper titling for which season and which episode it is. So you kind of know exactly what you're about to click on. Uh, what's also nice is that if these are uh, from unprotected channels, so on my system here at Comcast, most of the things that I record are unprotected. Uh, I could appoint a Plex server at it and Plex will pick up those episodes and let me play them back on any device that I have in the house that can run Plex. So you have some ability to go beyond just uh, what their official client can do right now. If you have these MPEG-2 recordings, uh, Plex can play them back as could Kodi. Uh, one thing to note on Plex is that many of these network attached storage devices now run Plex servers. However, those devices, the network attached storage devices, don't have the horsepower to do the transcoding on these MPEG-2 files. So uh, you may wanna have a separate Plex server running on a PC in order to make that happen. But if you are using a PC as your recording engine, you could of course run uh, the Plex server on that. And many of you probably are already doing that. So there's a way to do that. Protected content playback is coming. Uh, it's going to be through their official client. When they do activate the uh, DRM playback, you're going to have to use 
uh, the native software that is being installed onto your device from Silicon Dust because there are licensing considerations with that. So if you recorded something off of HBO, uh, that will have to be played back through the Silicon Dust app. Now, if you missed the Kickstarter, it is available now to everyone for $60. It'll get you the software as well as uh, what you just saw here on the playback side as well. Pretty much the same version of what I just uh, demonstrated here. If you're not yet ready to take the plunge, don't worry because every time there's a major feature update, I'm going to come back and do an update as to what they did with this because uh, I am very eager to replace my Windows Media Center server, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on this project uh, as they're moving along with it. So uh, definitely stay tuned. I'll give you some updates as things are moving along. If you have a Windows Media Center server now, I would probably keep it running, but this now might be the time to start running the two in parallel to see uh, how it's working. There's a great forum set up on the HD Home Run website, so you can go in there and uh, chat with other people who are also running the software as well as communicate back to the development team. Uh, they are taking a lot of user feedback as they're moving this along, so if you want to be part of that, definitely uh, participate in those forums too. So more to come. Just wanted to show you where things were at at the moment, and this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.